Good morning everyone. So what you see here in my fingers, that's a bird that just crashed into the window of our house. And if you look closely, some of you they should be able to figure out what this species is called. We are of course located in Norway at the moment. I'm not able to return to my beloved Philippines with my wife and my children. So we we are stuck here for the foreseeable future. And if you look close to this bird and looked close, you should be able to see the color of the head feathers because that is a clue and a Latin name. It's a start with Sylvia. This bird is almost the same size as sparrows, so that means it's about 12 to say 13 to 15 centimeters big. Uh, that's not a really big, but it's uh, equivalent to a, a sparrow. And you see that it's a little bit uh, plump and uh, in size, a little bit big. And this is a songbird. Uh, the Latin name uh, would be belong to a group called Sylvia. I think there is uh, 22 birds in that uh, uh, group. And this one is uh, Sylvia atril, atricilla. Ah, maybe I butchered the last part, but uh, you might know it by the English name, uh, uh, black cap. And this was a female black cap. It's a songbird. And the area where I'm sitting now, that is exactly the kind of area this bird will love uh, to put up a nest. And it will walk around here and uh, look for larvae and insects and maybe seeds that it, it can eat. And I said it is breeding here because this bird is breeding in Norway, but it's a migrant bird, so it is actually not living here year round. So it's migrant and then fly from Norway and up here in Scandinavia all the way back to Spain. Uh, it can be uh, in Greece, it can also be in parts of France and Morocco during the summer parts uh, all, all year. But up here in the north it will just come in April and return at the latest in October. So that is the kind of bird you saw. And it is usually found in these uh, places. If you want to try to find where it's nesting, then you should look for brush like this. It should be a little bit wet, uh, moist, um, dark, gloomy, like this place is. And um, the nest would be, uh, say, in the background here, uh, where there is dark and a lot of branches and bushes. That is where you will find, uh, go and look for the nest. But uh, this was a female uh, black cap. In Norwegian, this is actually called a monk, uh, just uh, like the priest. Um, so that is the name that I knew it from, and I didn't know the English, so I had to use my field guide. And this field guide is very, very good. It's a Norwegian one, and it says Fule guide. It just mean bird guide. It has all the information in English. And the good also, it has, um, of course, the um, Latin name, but it also have the English name. So that is uh, how, for me, it was easy to see, see that this bird was called black cap, because it says so in the book. In Philippines, uh, I found it quite hard to buy uh, bird guides that I needed. So I was only able to find one bird guide in the store uh, the other store i ordered online and that is something you also can do but the price for bird book books are expensive especially in philippines and i think um, you have to expect a brand new one and a big uh, covering parts of asia or just the philippines it co uh, cost uh, maybe two thousand plus peso for one of the bigger books. Um, a smaller one, you, you still have to pay more than 
uh, almost a thousand pesos, I think. So my dream would be actually to create a pamphlet of the most common birds in uh, the Philippines. That would be very, very neat. And maybe uh, 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 as time goes, uh, I might uh, gather enough uh, photos for to create such a small guides with uh, maybe 50 to 100 birds to start with. That would be very, very cool. Anyway, the Philippines have a lot of uh, birds that Norway do not have. And since the weather in Norway is so much different from Philippines, many of the birds here, and especially of the songbirds like uh, this black cap, they are migratory birds, meaning that they uh, fly here during the summer, because now, during the summer, it's really green here. We have lots of insects and larvae that the birds can um, feed and live on and uh, give birth. So it's a very, very strong and very intense summer. Um, and if you listen just down here, you will hear that uh, there is lots of birds in bridges uh, around me. And I find it uh, actually around uh, houses in Norway you will always find somewhere uh, in the range, at least here in the east of, uh, east of Norway, uh, uh, south I mean, south, southeast. So here you will find uh, around the houses somewhere between 20 to 30, maybe up to 50 different species of birds uh, just around the neighborhood. And since all, most of them are just hiding inside these um, uh, uh, places where you find all these um, uh, uh, trees with leaves it can be very hard to to see them and film them but just be patient and stay around here and you will be rewarded because here there is lots of birds so in this uh, small area there is at least uh, 20 different uh, bird species at the moment uh, so this is a good uh, Place to to spot birds. As you see, I'm not in the Philippines at the moment. I wish I was. Uh, my family there are all okay. We will return as soon as uh, the situation permits it. And, uh, but I guess it will take many many months before it is safe for me to travel. Until then, I will. Uh, keep making more videos of bird places here in Norway and if you have any special uh, requests um, if you want to see waterfowl uh, or any particular place uh, or want me to do something or speak about something maybe you want me to tell about myself and my family and uh, my plans or anything uh, I think you can only just leave your comments below uh, remember be polite and don't uh, use hateful and angry comments because those those comments I will simply delete I have no patient or interest that those could be posted and I don't think you also want to have those posted in red uh, beneath the video it's just uh, insulting I have no time for that uh, crap so instead um, be polite and ask anything uh, if you want me to uh, talk about uh, just birds or uh, how to retire in Philippines what my plans are uh, my particular situation that is what I can speak about um, then just ask below and I, I will try to make a video and sum up all the answer and then add much more information um, that I can but the bird you saw today, it was a songbird, uh, and it's just called Black Cap. I will uh, return back uh, in a few more days. If you have noticed, I have a new camera. This time I switched from GoPro over to DJI action camera, and together with that one, I use uh, my uh, Roda microphone. And this combination is super good and it's much much easier for me to use this as a vlogging uh, vlogging camera than my old uh, GoPro which was uh, I think it is more than 10 years old now 
So it was time for me to upgrade and buy something that uh, suits this situation much, much better. Okay, hope you like it. And in a few more days or maybe a week or two, then I will be back again. Until then, take care. And remember my motto, birding, it's fun every day. Bye-bye.